Hey everyone, if you saw a YouTube short I put out recently about putting on your own little cooling fan to the Hive Mapper unit itself. This one's okay. Uh, I'm gonna plug it in here in a second on the other fan. These run at five volts and they do have a little bit of a whine to it. So today well, I got a brand new one over here on the side. I wanna put a fan on that as well, but at the same time, I want to try running it at 3.3 volts instead of five. These are like 20 of these little voltage droppers, um, buck converters. And we're gonna try one of these with this fan and make sure that these will run at 3.3 and still be quiet. Because even on a hot day with this thing running at five volts, the heat sink is fully cold. So if we can get this to turn slower and quieter, it should still adequately cool the hive mapper. Give me one second, let me get some power supply on this. Okay, so right now I have the benchtop power supply set for five volts and the fan is running. Let me bring my lavalier mic on down to it and you can hear it running. So it does, it does have a small whine to it. Let's go ahead and bring it down to 3.3 volts. Oops, hold on. Okay, definitely went down in volume and fan, but I can still feel plenty of air coming from it. Listen to it now. You can barely hear it, so that means it will work perfectly fine at 3.3 volts with these units. Let me get these broken out. I'll show you what we're gonna do with this. So look at these little buck converters. They're basically the same thing you would find on like Arduino Unos and stuff like that. It can take anywhere from four and a half volts to 12 volts input and output 3.3 at 800 milliamps. Honestly, that fan pulls maybe 50 milliamps. So this isn't even gonna get warm, but they are V grooved. So we should be able to just, yep pop them off, pop them off again, and there we go. They're literally the size of a fingernail, that's it. And we're gonna modify them a little bit. There's only three wires on it. You'll see voltage in, V in right here on this first pin. The center pin is your output. That will be outputting 3.3 volts. And then you have a common ground. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna modify first my old one with the cable and try to put this on top because I forgot to bring the double-sided sticky tape back from my truck to stick the fan on my new one. So let's modify this one and show you how this is gonna work. So the first thing we're gonna do with these little buck converters is straighten out the pins for our application. Simple as that. Okay, so we have our beautiful pink hot glue gun here. Because again, I would rather use the double-sided tape to actually mount this on top of the fan. But again, I left it in the truck. So what we're gonna do, give it a nice little dab. Stay. We're gonna mount it just on there like that. Let that cool for a few seconds so it really solidifies. And while we're waiting for that to solidify, let's go ahead and pull this off because honestly, I didn't even solder these connections. All I did was twist them because this was a test. So I should be able to just go pull. Okay, I guess I twisted them pretty good. But uh, yeah, because we're gonna shorten these lines down. Okay, so we have the wires trimmed up from the fan itself. Just come back up from here and shoot on over. And what we're gonna do is connect the positive side to the output and the negative to the ground. Okay, now we have the positive and negative connected from the fan up to the output and the ground of this little buck converter. Let's mess with the USB and get that shortened to the right length. Okay, so now we're gonna take the USB that we shortened up to pretty much the right length, take the positive, solder that to the input, and take the ground and also attach this to the same ground that we attached the fan to. And there we go, we got all three wires soldered together, four actually, we can plug in here. Give me a minute, we will power up this unit on the benchtop power supply and see how it runs. Okay, so I got it plugged in here and I'm gonna run 12 volts through the uh, cigarette light adapter from my power supply. Let's go ahead and turn that on. 
and I got the wrong side of the ground. There we go. Now it's spun up. <laughs> but yes, it is now spinning. Yep. It is blowing air and it's running at 3.3 volts. Let me bring the lavalier mic up to it again. Much quieter. I love it. No more hum. So now you see the lights on, fans running, nice and quiet. I will put a little bit of uh, electrical spray on here or um, something to insulate it and it's good to go. So I got to do the other unit, but that's it for this video. If you want to be a little handy, you could do this and it makes a lot cleaner installation. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up, please. Share the video around and I'll catch you on the next video.